and welcome in. Today is Saturday. I had me a good time off at home. It was short, but it was sweet, right? And here we go. Just picked up my trailer again from Penner's Yard. And one thing I wanted to say is uh, I washed my truck yesterday and I washed the field pretty good because of all the uh, ice that we had on there. Just making sure that all my wheels are turning right. But anyways, what I was going to say is I washed my fifth wheel pretty good. So what I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tip, especially if you're uh, new drivers. If you wash a truck when it's really cold or even at any time of the year, anytime you hook up to a trailer, make sure that your fifth wheel is properly locked. Because uh, when I had washed my truck, the fifth wheel and everything pretty good. It was uh, frozen this morning, so I had to, <clears throat> what I always do is I back underneath the trailer and then I try to pull forward to see if the trailer is hooked onto it, right? And that's called a tug tag, uh, uh, tug test, tug test, that's what they call it. So you make sure that your trailer is hooked up to the field properly, right? And uh, mine wasn't. I tried once, wasn't tried a second time wasn't so I went and pulled all the way forward and went and looked to make sure that the field was actually open and it was so uh, I backed her underneath there with a little bit more force and then she locked in and I went and grabbed me a flashlight went and looked to make sure it's locked in right because you don't want to lose your trailer all of a sudden right so uh, and then I did another tug test and make sure that it was good and it was good this time. So here we are, back on the road. But that's just a little bit of a tip for actually for newer drivers that are getting into the trucking and whatever, you know. You should always do a tug test to make sure that the trailer is, is uh, tight onto the fifth wheel, you know, properly. It's always a good idea to get underneath the tra uh, tractor and look from behind with the flashlight. Look in the fifth wheel to make sure that little little pin in there is locked, right? Because otherwise you're going to be losing your trailer. So You don't want to do that. I done that one time when I was at Big Freight when I was at the beginning. I, I did, did not do a tug test and it was really cold and never had that problem before and all of a sudden, you know. I'm doing a tug, uh, I didn't do a tug test and I drive around the big freight yard there. We always have to smoke tarp it. What that means is uh, put a tarp right in front of the trailer because that was flat deck trailers and we were hauling uh, snowmobiles. So that way uh, they don't get burned from the exhaust from the tractor uh, exhaust pipe, right? <laughs> and I come around the curve and all of a sudden, bang, my trailer drops, eh? Uh, obviously ripped off all my glad hands and all that stuff, you know? So, you know, you know, that's pretty embarrassing, so... Plus, it's dangerous too, you know, especially if that were to happen, if you all of a sudden get on the road and... Uh, bang goes your trailer and it goes flying, right? And that's not very good, so... But anyways, enough of that. We are on our way to Edmonton right now. This road for 20 kilometers. It's pretty darn cold this morning, but hey... It's winter, I guess, for up here. Well, I am pretty much done for today, but the only thing I got left to do is uh, I'm going to put some fuel additive stuff into the uh, tanks because it's supposed to be super cold overnight. It's supposed to go down to like uh, minus 28 Celsius overnight. So that is cold. So uh, this is what I'm using, this stuff right here. That's what I'm going to be putting into the tanks. And this is uh, an emergency uh, stuff here. If your uh, stuff actually freezes, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it right there. It says for de-icing frozen fuel filters. And then I bought a little bit more windshield washer fluid. But uh, yeah, so 
I'm gonna go put this white bottle uh, in uh, into both of the tanks together. It says it's good for up to 950 liters, and that's uh, very close to about what I got. I got probably about thousand liters or so. So uh, that should be enough, I think. The, uh, the Canadian fuel, uh, the number uh, one fuel here, they they actually have fuel additive in there, but it's only good to a certain point, right? So what I do is I put a little more in there just to be safe, right? And that's just some of the things that we got to do here in winter when it's really super cold. So let me go ahead and do that. And I'm getting cold out here, so I'll go back in the truck. I think that about uh, will do it for today. I think what I'll go do is probably watch me a movie. And uh, continue on tomorrow. I don't have uh, big days uh, for today and tomorrow, but uh, that's okay. I left a little bit earlier than I really had to anyways, and it was only about 1400 kilometers, so uh, uh, where I'm at right now, it's only 700 kilometers to go, and I got exactly 700 kilometers up to here, so uh, I don't really have that much further to go, so... Uh, but uh, I was talking to a trucker jukebox today and he said he's going to uh, mention my channel on his channel so I figured uh, I wanted to say thanks to him for uh, sharing my videos frequently and uh, also wanted to say thanks to him for uh, mentioning my channel on his channel and uh, figure I uh, probably will do the same thing I'll probably uh, leave the links down below in the description for his channel as well and so you guys can go check his channel out he's got a YouTube channel as well and he's got some interesting videos up there too so check him out and uh, hey if you like him subscribe to him I'm sure he would appreciate it just like I do, I appreciate it if somebody uh, subscribes to my channel. So, uh, so I guess with that, uh, we shall see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. So thanks.